ladies? It's Sharon with Nephi Her Nation again. Due to the overwhelming response I've had on Instagram with the head wrap tutorial, I figure it's time for an updated one to show how to do it as a protective style, okay? So what I have here is a piece of cloth. It's like unfinished kente cloth that I have um, that I'm using it as a protective style during the winter time. And I'll show you what my hair looks like underneath. It's not done at all. Okay, so I'm gonna take this down and then I'm gonna do my best to show you how to wrap your hair. Okay, so here is my hair and it's kind of cuckoo crazy as you see. <laughs> the back I have kept up in braids. I have two different braids. So I parted it, I braided, I braided, and I pinned it up on each side. Um, in loose braid, it's comfortable back there. And remember I told you to use the hairpin and not the bobby pin so that it's nice and comfortable and I don't feel anything pulling back there, okay? And so I do have a lot of curls here, um, but I'm not going to put my hair up with all the curls because it's just too much. You wanna you wanna balance between the cloth and your curls, okay? Um, I have tried to put my entire hair in the cloth and it's just uncomfortable um, the way I tie it because I just have too much hair. So, um, the last tutorial I used a scarf. This time I'm using the Kente cloth which is stiffer. Um, it's unfinished but you can find these finished and um, at the end of the tutorial I'll list different places where you can buy finished beautiful cloths, okay? So as you see this is the size of this cloth and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of part my hair so that I'll have some hair in the cloth and some hair out of the cloth, okay? And you can do this again with any scarf, okay? So what you want to do is I usually kind of guesstimate how much hair I want in or out of the cloth. And so I do maybe about that much. This part, this right here, this is where the cloth is going to be. This is where I'm going to tie everything, okay? So we're going to do it like that. And now I have a demarcation. What this does is this also saves your curls. Whatever curls, if you have a roller set, or um, bantu knots or something like that. Um, nothing will get smashed, nothing will get ruined because of the, where you're laying your, your scarf or your cloth, okay? So here, I take it and I just kind of ball it up like that, okay? And then I wrap it around. Here's my braids back here, my comfortable braids. And I wrap it around. And I'm going to just do just like this. And I could do it off to the side. I could do it, it depends where I want to put my knot. If I want to put my knot off to the side, I tie it more to the side. If I want to do it at the top, I tie it more at the top. We're going to do it kind of midway, okay? Just like that. You can kind of see where it's looking. And again, we're going to do it the exact same way I use it in my other tutorial. You hold it back down and you pull the cloth up just like that, okay? Just like that. And you pull it up to where you can kind of make a shape just like that okay and now you have some curls at the top and then what you can do is this is where you have fun with it you can fan this out just like this okay and you can tuck it you can take this part you can make a bow you can do whatever you want to do just play around with it so that it just fits the way you want. You can take it and you can kind of make a little bow, tap it, tie it, whatever you want to do, just like that. And now you have your bang and you check your sides on both sides, okay? Very, very simple, one, two, three. Again, you take your cloth, you tie it around, you tie it, and then with these cloths it's nice because since it's so stiff you you don't have to with this regular scarf you take your end and you tuck it in the back but with this you can tuck it in the front and just kind of fan it out to whatever design you want to make it okay so i hope this helps and again at the end of the video i will list some of the places where you can buy finished cloths um so that you can have a look or a cloth to match every outfit. So I hope this helps ladies. Okay, take care, bye.